Welcome back to the Geofence setup video number two. Geofencing is a component of the UKG mobile app and it's required to be set up prior to your employees using the app to punch in and out of Kronos. If you haven't seen part one of the setup process, please back up and watch that video first. It will show you how to start the setup process and get the Geofence ball rolling so your employees can use the mobile app to punch in and out. If you were with us for part one, you've probably submitted your request and have received feedback from the Chrono Service Desk, and you're now ready to capture the coordinates for your fence. In this video, we'll show you where to find the application and how to capture the geofence coordinates. We'll pick up at step four, launching the coordinate app from MySidexo, and cover step five, capturing the coordinates for the fence. The remaining steps happen behind the scenes after you capture your coordinate locations. As we said before, it's important for you to understand that the entire process takes a minimum of three days. This time is needed for the Chrono system to update itself with your geofence data. Let's take a look at how to capture your fence coordinates. Our demo will show you how to capture the coordinates for one cost center. If you've requested to mobile enable multiple work sites, the process is exactly the same. You can add multiple lines of coordinates without closing the application. As you're getting ready to capture the coordinates for your geofence, here are some things to consider prior to capturing your locations. Your geofence uses the cell phone GPS location and compares it against the fence location and enables or denies punches. Cell phone signals are broadcast from cell towers. The strength of the cell signal is what the cell phone bars measure, but they do not measure GPS signal strength. GPS signals are radio signals broadcast from a set of satellites in orbit 12,000 miles above the Earth. These signals penetrate air best and get reflected off of metal. So you have the best signal standing outside. Basements are our worst case for a geofence location. They have the building over them, they tend to be concrete, and they have dirt and earth all around the sides. Here are some ideas to try if you have to set up a fence in a basement or metal building. Challenges with basement and metal buildings. The pin may need to be set closer to the entrance to accommodate poor signals. The pin radius may need to be set wider. Instruct your employees to punch on a higher floor if, if they have issues that persist. Setting the coordinates incorrectly. Best practice is to go to the building where you want the geofence and capture the coordinates on site. Incorrect coordinates could put your fence miles away from where you want your employees to punch. Punch issues. All of the punch rules regarding when an employee can punch are still in effect. There's no difference between punching in the clock or punching in from a cell phone. If you have an employee that is having difficulty punching within the geofence, check to see if they can see their own schedule in the mobile app. If they can see their schedule, then we know the mobile app is working. Then it is a fence problem or a GPS problem. Check also to make sure they are scheduled to work the day they are having issues. And then also check if they're trying to punch in too early. That's a clock rule thing. Keep in mind that it might take them a day or two to get their timing right. You know, the difference between being able to punch in as soon as you walk into the door and as soon as you're within that geofence versus having to walk all the way to the clock. So they may be punching in or trying to punch in a little bit early without even realizing it. Once you've completed the request form to have either your work sites or cost center mobile enabled, and you've received confirmation back from the Chrono Service Desk that the request has been completed, meaning that the setup has been completed within Kronos, um, you are now ready to geofence the work site or the cost center. You want to go ahead and log back into MySidexo from a mobile device, either phone or iPad and select the Kronos Worksite and Mobile Setup application. Once the, the application loads, this time you want to select the Site Geofencing GPS Survey. You want to scroll down and once again enter your main location. You can search for your main location by the name or by the unit number. Once you've selected the main loc, you want to select the cost center. And then you want to go ahead down and identify the location to be geofenced. So you can search on the address of the actual location, or you can use the locator button, which will pull up the coordinates for the site where you're at.
You can move the pin around to make sure that you're getting the exact location you want to have geofenced. So that could be closest to the entrance, the, the main entrance, or maybe it's a back entrance that employees use, that is by a loading dock or a specific staff entrance. But go ahead and move that pin around to best suit the need. From here, you want to scroll down. You'll show that the latitude and longitude that's been selected and your punch radius. You have an option to have a punch radius from 30 to 100 meters. Select the one that best meets your needs. If you need to make adjustments, you can always come back into the survey and redo the radius. Once you've made that selection, you can then submit. The form will get submitted and show in a completed status and then it will be 24 hours before your employees will be allowed to punch in using the new geofenced location. After submitting your coordinates, remember, it'll take 24 hours for Kronos to update your location information and build your fence. The system will not send you any notification when it's complete. While you're waiting, tell your team where they can punch. Make sure that they understand that they need to have their location services on their phone, and if they're in the basement or in a metal building, try moving towards an outside entrance if they're having trouble punching. After the 24 hours has passed, your employees can begin punching in and out using their mobile devices. Thank you for watching part two of the Geofence setup process. For more information, email the Chrono Service Desk or reach out to your district labor champion. Thanks, and have a good day.